In this video, we'll show you how to install a Tusk Sub-Zero snowplow mount on a Polaris Razor 800. The same steps would be used if you're installing the mount on the Polaris Razor 570. First thing you want to do is open your mount kit and make sure all hardware is accounted for. If it is, go ahead and grab the necessary tools for the install. For this machine, we'll only need a ratchet and a 13mm socket. So we've supported our machine on ramps to better show the installation process. You can also choose to support your machine and gain easier access to the undercarriage for the installation. But however you decide to access the bottom of your machine, be sure to use caution and take all necessary steps to avoid causing any damage or injuries. If you have a skid plate that covers underneath the front differential, you'll need to remove it in order to install the plow mount. The first thing we're going to do is just get an idea of where each clamp is going to sit on the machine. So the front mount will ride right behind this frame crossbar, and then the two smaller rectangle pieces are for the middle holes in the frame. So we'll go ahead and sit one of those directly over each hole. Lining the threaded hole up now is going to make it easier to find with the bolt later. So once we've got both middle mounts in place, we'll move to the rear longer rectangle mount. And to find a location of this, we'll hold the plow mount up into place. So looking at the rear holes in the plow mount, we can see that the rear mount needs to be directly over this front set of holes in the frame. So we'll go ahead and set that up into place. Now we're ready to begin attaching the plow mount. Hold it up into place and using two of the shorter bolts, attach it to the rear mount we just installed. Once we've got both shorter bolts installed holding the rear end of the plow mount up, we're going to move to the two longer bolts for the front mount. Thread both longer bolts into the clamp but don't tighten either of them yet. We just want the mount left loose for now. So with the mount loose, you'll want to make sure the middle holes are lined up with the threaded holes and the clamps above them. Once they are, we're going to thread both remaining shorter 8mm bolts up into the rectangle nuts. When you've got both those bolts threaded in most of the way, go ahead and start tightening them down. And once both those bolts are tight, we're going to move to the front bolts. With these, you want to be sure and tighten them evenly to ensure the clamp is pulled down the same on both sides. Once they're snug, go ahead and tighten down the rest of the way. Now just tighten the rear bolts and we're done with the install. You're ready to attach the blade and start plowing. If you have any other questions about the Tusk Sub-Zero plow system, give us a call at 1-800-336-5437 or visit us online at www.rockymountainatvmc.com. Rocky Mountain carries everything you need to have you and your machine ready for the changing seasons. Thanks for watching.